are at the 11th Annual Actual Awards at the Vancouver Playhouse, and I'm so excited to be interviewing some of the nominees, such as Eric McCormick, and I am ready for a blast tonight to be here at the Vancouver Playhouse, so stay tuned. How excited are you to be here tonight at the 11th Annual Awards? It's 11, hey? That's it's amazing. Um, I'm always excited to be here because we get to see everybody. Excuse me. We get to see everybody and, um, you know, I always look at this award show as a celebration, right? Like, it's a celebration of what we're doing out here in Vancouver, on the West Coast. Um, I know that it's obviously an award show, so somebody wins and somebody loses, but I don't really care about any of that. I mostly care about the fact that we're celebrating each other. Yes. Yeah. Yes, amongst the peers. And yeah. and what's your secret ingredient to be such a successful actor? I've seen you in Christmas movies. I've seen you everywhere. Um, oh, that's nice. That's a good shot, Philip. Nice work. Hey, Philip, nice work. Um, oh, my success. You know, I just love it. I think, I think maybe my success has, I mean, if you call it success, I think my success is directly related to the fact that I still love what I do. So I feel like that's the success of it all, whether I am famous or, a, you know, or looked at as A, B, or C, uh, isn't as important to me as that I am doing something every day that I love. You know, so I think that's what I tell my kids. I tell my kids, if you find something you love where it gets you up in the morning, that's success. Oh. Yeah. It's you know. inspiring. And please tell us what you're working on right now. Um, well, right now, my acting studio, Railtown Actor Studio, is producing a play that opens on November 24th um, at the Nest Theater on Granville Island. Yes. It's called Venus in Fur, and you can get tickets on Eventbrite. And um, yeah, so I've been doing that, teaching at the studio, and uh, getting ready to do a play in January at the Arts Club. You never stop. <laughs> so, yes, no, thank you so much for stopping thank you. by. John. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. What's your name again? Christine. Christine. Yes, we've got a Christine. Nicole. Nicole Oliver. Yes. It's yes. Christine. I, I love your voice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Your voice is in demand. And uh, so tell us, you got so many animation projects coming on. You're a director, you're multi-talented. So tell us, My Little Pony, you're also doing, uh, I can't keep up, Dragon, Dragon Prince. Prince yeah, yeah. November 26th. So season four of Dragon Prince just dropped. And uh, it's kind of fun because I am now mother of the dragons. So uh, for a lot of my fans are like, you've gone from princess of the ponies to mother of the dragons. So that's been kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I'm directing lots of shows. I'm really grateful to have made that evolution in my career. And, uh, and I'm still working on camera. So we're just finishing up season four of Nancy Drew for the CW. So lots of balls in the air and, and uh, I'm having a great time. Yes, and you know, what is your secret ingredient to success? I mean, because you do, you're so versatile, if I may say. Thank you. Like, um, secret? I don't know if there's so much of a secret, but just I kind of believe in, I like to be, you know, an entertainer. So just throw the pasta at the wall and see what sticks, you know? That. And the worst thing that happens is the whole pot of pasta will be on the wall and then you'll be really busy, so. But be fearless, which I you are, so. like, you oh, know. You, thank you. You have so much, like, is there anything you can tell us that you're working on now, other than, you know, if, like, I know Nancy Drew, but anything else? Uh, well, I'm directing four shows and none of them I can really say any names about. One might be by a company that rhymes with ego, otherwise I may lose my house and my children. Um, and then voice-wise, I'm also acting in a couple of new shows. And uh, like I said, just finishing off Nancy Drew. And uh, that's going to keep me busy for a while. But um, I'm always, you know, have my tentacles out wondering what's going to happen next. And, and I'm open for almost anything. So possibility, right? Yeah, it's wonderful. So let me say, how does it feel to be here? It's so surreal, isn't it? It is amazing in person after three years. I almost forget. It's like, how do I, how do you, how do you, know, how do you do can it? you, are you allowed to, what do you do? Um, but it's just really joyous, I guess is the word for it. And I think it, there's a really great buzz of celebration um, in the air. So, And it's yeah. a great community. What a community to be out tonight celebrating the 11th annual award. So, 
Nicole, it's always a pleasure to interview you and just uh, so great to see you yes. in person. Yes, finally. <laughs> okay, thank you. It's always fun to do an interview with you on the red carpet. Well, and thank we, you, and with you too. Yes. Thanks. We haven't done an in-person interview yet, but I'm looking forward to it. All right. Yes, and me too. I'm all ears and all all words, whatever you need. <laughs> Right. So, how excited are you to be here tonight amongst the peers, the community, the, at the 11th Annual? I'm very excited that we're back together in a room and not doing it on Zoom and whatever. And I think it's really wonderful. Any award show that celebrates our, our best work and whatever is fantastic. And I, I have been a member of the Academy for many years and I, I helped with the Genies and the Geminis and now the CRAs and the Leos and the Actor Awards. It's fantastic. The Actor UBCP Awards is specific to us here in the West and it's really great. Yes. It's fabulous. So can you tell us what you're working on right now? Yeah, I, I just came from filming today um, of a new, uh, it's a pilot for a show called Swing Wars and it's all about the West Coast swing dance uh, world and competitions and so on and I have a wonderful role I'm playing um, a Scottish swing dancing champion who lost his leg to a ceiling oh. fan in a, doing a flip and so they're taking advantage of my artificial leg to uh, play this role and it's great fun yes. so I'm doing that and that's uh, Teresa Riley is producing that and doing that and I'm also uh, recurring on Nancy Drew Wonderful. So yeah, so that's that's kind of I'm doing a lot of animation work, voiceover. Work. Oh wow, how is that? How do you enjoy doing animation work? Oh, I've loved it for 30 years. I love, oh, still love goodness. doing it. It's great fun. You have a lot of freedom. You yes, know? I mean because you've done stage, TV, and animation. Yeah. Is there one that you particularly like, or they're all? They're all different. I love being on stage. I really miss being on stage and the the work that that requires. Um, I love doing film. Uh, television's great fun. It's usually faster and you don't quite quite as attached unless you're in a series, um, which I've been many times. Um, but they're all different. They all have different things. And voiceover is so great. It's great fun. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. They let you play. They let you play. And speaking of yes. like, how do you maintain your stamina? Like you're so multi-talented. Like how do you? Uh, I I would say I get lots of sleep, but I don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, orange juice, uh, you know, I drink a lot of coffee and tea, I don't know. I just have a natural energy that I like to work on. I mean, it's slowed down over, you know, I'm, I'm turning 65 next week. Wow, and happy uh, birthday. Thank you, thank you. But I don't feel age, but as much as um, COVID took a lot out of a lot of us in terms of um, an energy to create, like your self-discipline was harder to maintain. Yes. And um, But I, as soon as I'm working, I, everything else drops off and I love playing so it's good energy to play yes you, know? you're, you do it so well and it's such a pleasure to have you know we do another interview with you on the red carpet and i can't wait to interview you in person well thank you yes well here we are <laughs> you're sort of in person i guess yes yes <laughs> we are and so yes. it's so surreal yes it really it is and, and uh are you having fun tonight oh i am i'm getting to meet so many people and doing interviews like, like with you and i'm having a blast thanks excellent. for asking excellent. Well, that's the main thing is we're all here to have fun yes. and enjoy and celebrate well here we how oh, here we are at the 11th annual awards how does it feel to be here tonight it's so wild because it's been a few years, you know? Um, so yeah, it just feels really nice to be here and to see all these wonderful faces that I haven't seen in a long time. And yeah, I'm really just touched by the whole thing. Yeah, so this is about community. So I wanted to say congratulations on your nomination for the lead uh, actor award Thank for you. Donkey Head. So tell us about Donkey Head. I know about, but some people who's never seen it, could you tell our viewers? Yeah. Um, Donkey Head is about a South Asian family that lives in Regina, Saskatchewan, and it revolves around a woman named Mona, who is a mess, and she is taking care of her very ill father, and when things get worse with his health, her three very successful siblings come back home to take care of the situation. Yeah, so I mean, like you are Melton, you're a writer, you're a director, an actor. How, do, is there one that you particularly like or do they all blend, like transferable? Um, you know, I've been acting for so long and I do love it, it's my first love, but the more I write, the more I direct, um, I really am falling in love with that medium as well. And I think it all bleeds together, you know, what I know as an actor definitely feeds into my work as a director and as a writer and vice versa. 
So to me, it's all just one big soup. You know, right now I might be writing and directing more, but eventually one day I'll be, you know, going back to acting. So. Yeah, you're versatile, <laughs> you know. But so, where do you keep your awards? I mean, you're, you have so many awards. <laughs> on my mom's mantelpiece. Yeah, oh, really? it's on my parents' Aww. home. And, yeah. and your parents must be so proud of you. You have the support, you know, and that's important, I believe. Yeah, it's really nice. They keep me grounded, but they're very like, you know, when times get tough, you need that person that's gonna, or those people that are gonna say, just hang in there. Or, Keep keep at it. So it's, yeah, it's hard sometimes to keep going, right? And to yes, yeah, this is a hard industry, and things changed quickly. You get older, and you know, with COVID, that's definitely changed things as well. So um, it's always just yeah, you, you just have to kind of keep your eye on what really brings you a lot of joy, and that's the only way you can navigate, I think. And please tell us what are you working on now. Um, I just actually finished directing uh, the pilot episode of a series called Our Big Happy Family, which was shot in Regina, Saskatchewan. Um, and it's going to be premiering on Omni in the spring. And I'm writing my next feature called uh, Tiny Birds with Broken Brains. My goodness. So you also have uh, in Global TV Family Law your Jectoring debut. Tell us about that. Family Law is uh, a really special series that is based here in Vancouver and you know it's it's kind of has the the best of the best in the industry you know you got Jewel State and Victor Garber and it's um, show the showrunner Susan Nielsen and Andy Makita is like the director and producer so you're surrounded by all these amazing people and I got so lucky because Sonia Bennett uh, wrote the episode that I got to direct and it was my very first time directing for TV wow. which is very different from wow. indie film but it was really wonderful. I worked with incredible actors. Um, and yeah, I, I'm excited for people to see it. Congratulations. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I think that's it. I just hope everybody has a good time tonight. Yes, thank you so much. Getting warm. Yeah, because it's hot to be here. The Levin's <laughs> annual awards. How do you feel to be here? It's really nice to be back. It, it felt like those two and a half years of being away felt like five. So it's really nice to be back and get to see so many of my uh, my my comrades that I haven't seen in person in so very long. So it's really nice to be back. Yes, it's such a wonderful experience to be here with the community. And so. Tell us about what you're working on now, Jim. You've got so many irons on the fire, and I see you all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a real blessing the last, uh, the last number of years. I actually just wrapped on a, on a feature called Vindicta, really awesome horror film. Uh, Jeremy Piven, oh. yep. Sean Astin, you know, Lord of the Rings. Uh, he was Rudy. Uh, so really wonderful cast. Um, I actually had a premiere of one of my Christmas movies just come out. Oh, yes. Um, so it's been, it's been really busy, but really fulfilling, really good. Yes. Is there something you really enjoy working on, at, like Hallmark to action films, or does it really matter? To be honest, I really, I feel really fortunate that I, I've been able to play such uh, a wide array of characters. You know, so I'm on a show with Tyler Perry called Ruthless, and I play this FBI agent, it's a drama. Wow. And then I love doing the Christmas movies, whether they be for Hallmark or BT or Oprah. I had one for Oprah recently. Um, and so I feel really fortunate that I've been able to play like really different characters. And yes. that's, I think, for me, like the, the greatest reward of being able to just play. It's yes. like being a kid. You know, you're a kid, you're like a dinosaur, then you're a soccer player, and you can be whatever you want in your imagination. Yes. I've been blessed with that type of career. Yeah, so how do you maintain your stamina, Jim? You're a runner, right? Or <laughs> I, I used to run, yeah. I mean, it's been, it's been some years since I ran, but uh, I'm in the gym a lot. You know, I, I try to keep the body and the mind as sharp as possible. I don't get a lot of sleep, but I'll sleep some point in the future. And, uh, and I think it's just really the thirst for um, achieving, you know, new milestones, like hitting, achieving new goals and so on and so forth. And that kind of keeps you really hungry and keep it going. And support too, right? My mom, my yes, mom, and your mom. yeah, hi, my Calica, <laughs> uh, my mom, and my friends, and and even uh, a shout out to the the world at large. Like I get a lot of love from uh, from the supporters that watch all my projects, or they follow me online, and they they really do keep the boy feeling really, really, really good. So I, I got to thank everybody for that. Keep it going, and the best of luck to you. Thank you so much. Love to see you. Yeah, thank too. you.
How does it feel to be here? I'm so excited. It's so nice to have everybody under the same roof to celebrate all our successes. And sometimes we don't get to see people very often, so this is a really nice treat. Yes, it feels so surreal. I mean, to be amongst your peers in the community, and it's just a great, I feel the energy here. Yeah, I'm very excited, and everyone looks so beautiful, so. Yes, <laughs> yes, you get up and, and come out and, and, you know, have a wonderful time. And so tell us, what are you working on now? Yeah, so I just finished shooting a romantic comedy called Candid About Love. Yes. And I was starring opposite Drew Henderson. It should come out in the spring. Mm -hmm. And I also have some work on family law in season two coming out as well. I'm really excited about. Yeah. yeah. So is there anything you can tell us, like where can people see you? And um... Yeah, so family law is on global, ca candid about love. I'm not sure where they're going to place it yet, so I can't give that information, but... Not yet. <laughs> not yet. No, but no, so if, um, anything else you'd like to add? Um, I did have a film that premiered at TIFF Digital this year. Oh. Yeah, I was the lead of that, and it's called The Last Mark. Congratulations. Hi, Eric. How are Hi. you tonight? I'm awesome. How are you? Good. And how does it feel to be here at the 11th Annual Award? Well, this is a, a special year for me. This is my 30th anniversary of moving from Toronto to Vancouver. Oh. It happened in 1992. I never went back not to live, and this has became my community. So uh, uh, this means a lot to me. That's wonderful. And I want to congratulate you on your nomination for Best Supporting Actor for Drink Water. Yes. Uh, it's uh, a lovely, lovely little film. You know, at that time when the pandemic was happening, and we all thought, we'll never work again. It's all over. This little film came up. We shot in Penticton. It's the most beautiful town and um, with a wonderful director, Steve Campanelli. And I, I'm just really proud of it. Yes, and I mean, the role that you play, you play Hank. <laughs> so how did you enjoy playing the role? Um, Hank is a very different role for me. I, 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 at the minute I read it, I thought, this is my wife's uncle, um, uh, several uncles, actually. And I just said, I, I, I know exactly what, how this guy sounds. And I know I need to have a Burton Cummings mustache. I just, I just knew it. <laughs> no, and what, what are you working on right now? Can you tell us some of your projects? Yes, I just flew in from Atlanta. I'm shooting a new series for Hulu called The Other Black Girl, based on a book of the same name. And I'm really excited about it. It's really it's smart and funny, and it'll be on Hulu next year. That's wonderful. Tell us about your singing. You're a singer, too. I am a singer, too. <laughs> uh, Actually, I'll be really honest, uh, Vince Scale and I were just at his house having a drink and we did a little karaoke before we came here. We, we sang a little song before we even came. That's how addictive it is. Yeah, no, that's wonderful. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Eric? Oh, I, I just that, that um, I'm up against John Cassini, a friend I've known for a long time, and it's, uh, it's a vicious, vicious competition. Well, it's all in fun. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Hi, Carla. Hi. So how excited are you to be here um, tonight for the 11th Annual Awards? Uh, it is definitely the, the culmination of all of our hard work at UBCP Actra. And we're truly excited to you know, bring this event together and finally be able to celebrate our members in the way they deserve. Yes, a lot of work. And this is your new role, right, as yes. a director of membership and communications. That's correct. Yeah, so tell us about what your role is involved, what it involves. In yeah, so as the director of member services and communications, I manage all of our efforts and initiatives to support our membership of over 8,000 performers across BC and the Yukon. And then also as the communications part of my portfolio, I manage all things comms, our events, you know, this event that is happening tonight, or co corporate strategy for communications, everything that just ensures that our membership is well represented and that their efforts are being you know, championed in the best way possible. That's wonderful. Thank you. Hi, Ellie. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Yes. I mean, I can't believe we're here at the 11th Annual yeah. Awards. How, what does that make you feel? Well, uh, I'm just so happy that we can all be here in person and we can see each other and have a drink together and dance and laugh and be normal. <laughs> That's, I'm pretty, I'm very, I'm really looking forward to a really fun, normal night. Yeah, so tell us about the awards, like mm -hmm. six categories, right? That's Is right. That 
Yeah. So uh, these are mirrored at the various uh, branches across the country. Um, and uh, some, some branches just have a best male and pe female performer. We have a little more broad because we've got uh, a fair bit of animation here and a lot of stunt work. So we added those categories. And then we added supporting actor because we have because we're a service industry town, we have a lot of supporting roles here. Um, so we wanted to be able to include those performers and not just the leads. So we have a few more than the rest of the country, uh, but, uh, but we think those six kind of cover all the categories pretty well. That's wonderful, and you also act. I do, yeah. I, I'm in there too, doing my auditions all the time. I just finished a part on uh, Straight Man, and I've got one coming up, um, uh, Movie of the Week coming up. So yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. But you're following your passion, right? And it's more than just, it's a career. It's a lot of work, but you're yes. you're doing it, and it's part of the. I got community. nothing else. I got nothing else. I I don't didn't take a law degree as backup, which I wish I had. <laughs> that would have been smart. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank you. to be here at the 11th annual awards. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I can feel the energy and it, it feels it feels surreal. It feels a little bit unbelievable. I'm like, am I really going to get to see my friends today? Am I really off the couch in my heels? <laughs> my little heels just like crying in the closet there. I was like, where are we? So no. I'm in the taxi, but still quite in disbelief and, and very excited. And, and just so excited around. to see everyone. Yeah. 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 So tell us what are you working on now? Oh, well, you know how it goes, right? It's like, what am I allowed to say? What am I not yes. allowed to say? Um, I am working on a fantastic feature right now that I'm so stoked about. I don't think I can say more okay. about that, but... Uh, it's um, her directorial debut, and she's starring in it, and that's all I can say about her. And um, it's, it's just a very fun and weird project because my, the part that I'm in is, is very fun. But then I started reading the script, and it's, but it's, it's actually a dark script that just happens to be that the section that I'm in is, is a very fun section. So we're having a, a blast. That's wonderful. Yeah. And you know, so the things that people can watch you, what? Yes. Tell yes. us. All right. Well, if you're on Netflix, there's the 100, there's uh, the CW shows, um, Nancy Drew. Um, I have a lovely role coming out in um, Superman and Lois. Uh, what else can I tell you about? Oh my gosh, so much. Um, the Power. Oh. That's a new series that's going to be out in 2023. Uh, very excited because they, they, yeah, they just. The production quality, the commitment to creativity and and production, wow, just wow. And I can see just, wow, you're so excited. Yeah, I can't I'm, wait. I'm, I can't wait to see this this first episode. I'm just beside myself. Oh, I'm so happy <laughs> for you. <laughs> Thank and you. And I'm happy to see you here at the red carpet. I'm happy to see you, beautiful. Aww. How does it feel to be here tonight? It's so special. I mean, what a celebration of BC talent. Like, it's so great to be here among peers and see friends and it's so nice to, that we're in person again you know and and not online well, speaking of talent your talent and congratulations for the the being on the role of virgin river correct yeah, yeah that's right yeah so tell us about your role of course um i played denny cutler on virgin river uh which has been a wonderful hit for for um moms across america yes. and many alike um, and uh he's he's a um, a strong guy, but he's uh, dealing with Huntington's disease, which is a terrible illness, and uh, we're hoping to uh, bring awareness to it um, and show a positive lifestyle of someone living with Huntington's disease. So, yeah, so how did you prepare for the role? Um, you know, we were able to be put in touch with some doctors in California who are writing in conjunction with the writer's room on our show and it was really informative. Um, but otherwise, he's just a, no a normal guy as well. So uh, got to bring just joy and, and regular life for him. Congratulations. And so what else are you working on <laughs> right now? Um, well, I had a couple projects air this year. Um, I was on Are You Afraid of the Dark, uh, which we shot in the Dominican Republic, which oh was very cool. Gosh. And uh, I was also on The Imperfects, which was another Netflix series. Yes, so. Imperfects. That's yeah. Imperfects, right? That's cool. Yeah. That's but otherwise, we're just, uh, I'm going to be going to Japan with my mom later this year, and it's time to take a break. So. Yes, yeah. no. And is there any 
anything else you'd like to add, like to follow you, to check out your work? Where can they go? Well, you can find me on Twitter, if it still exists tomorrow, and uh, on Instagram at Kybury, K-A-I-B-U-R-Y. And, um, yeah. Otherwise, I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, and I'm sure we'll meet again. Love it. Thank you. Take care.